Hello and welcome to another episode of Moonbreaker. My name is Dominic Underhall House and today we're going to be looking at some more of the PvP aspect of the game. I've been really enjoying it so far so I'm trying to get a good amount of content backed up so we can you know, release it consistently until the next, uh, well in fact until early access starts. The playtests are going to be over so this is going to be our uh, early access, you know, lead, sort of build up something like an advent calendar. Get something every so often all the way up until early access. So. The one we've looked at recently is uh, a melee move block list. In fact, I don't need to be doing it from the screen. We can do it from the uh, from the select screen, the versus player. So I've been really enjoying this. So we played one game. It went well. I think we just end up in a state where our opponent wasn't really sure of their way out of uh, the situation that they found themselves, and I think we knew what to do from there. So that was you know a bit unfortunate for the opponent, but you know it worked out well for us. I think one of the things I'm realising as well is the cost of units is something I need to start considering a little bit more when I'm building lists. So it's worked out well for us. I think one drops and three drops are very important. Like two drops are as well, but one and three are the two sort of core ones because if you play something on turn, don't play anything on turn one, you can play three drop turn two. And if you do play something on turn one, that's when the two drops then become useful, but then you can save it and play a five drop later on and not really many things go above five at the moment. So. If you're taking your turn off that's sort of a good way to think about it i want to give this another go i'm just going to jump straight in and see what happens so like i said before in the previous video i'm going to try and speed up a little bit on these things and see if you can you know potentially look at getting two games in per video but again it's just a case of seeing how it goes given that there's a lot to learn still that may not be the case okay so we've got astra we know what astra does is the remove stun from something and also hang on, it looks like he's has he still got a smiley face on his arm? Or am I just going mad? Anyway, so... <laughs> she can uh, also reduce costs of things. I think here, stun is really good because it means we can run towards it. But I think we're going to try stim burst. We've not played with stim burst yet, and we already know we like stow away. So let's see how this goes. I am in control. What we're going to want to be doing is essentially moving towards her, but without just going straight into... Uh, open space. So I'm going to try and just stick in this vent. It does reduce the visibility there. That's all we're going to do. And the next turn we can drop a 3-drop. It's probably going to be snarling and it's probably going to be somewhere over here to try and keep the line of sight safe. Okay, so they've just used... Oh, is that... I'm going to use Maximus probably? Oh, Deadeye. Okay. So it's reduced by 2. So they use the ability and then that reduced Deadeye. So, fine. So... We are going to reinforce first, make sure we've got all our options. It is almost definitely snailing that we're going to deploy first. It's just going to be over here. And then, honestly, I think I'm then also going to move this to around here to make them move out into vision a little bit if they want to get a good shot on exterior. Because this way we've got, uh, we've got stim burst that we can use next turn. So I know we probably want to be using it as often as possible, but we don't have enough of a force here to deal with anything. Next turn we can't even play anything. So if we can get in range of something, that would be great. And then we can start using our, our uh, Cinder on one of these things. Probably both, actually. If we got in range, we'd probably use both because we're going to have four next turn. And that would give us enough to actually use both of these abilities and then run in. So I'm going to guess that's the boost morale again. Okay, so they're going for the uh, for the aggressive line here. So what's this bar? In group gives plus accuracy. Okay, and it all missed, and they haven't moved. That's really good for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to over here to basically hide. Although, okay, so. You know what? We don't need to move any further. We're still going to stick over here, so reduce line of sight this direction. Uh, yeah, because we uh, we did this was the turn we didn't have enough for anything. So next turn we're probably going to want to use ability. So actually, I'm going to save this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over here to try and get as good a range shot as possible on this. Because if this hits, there we go. That snare is so important here. So, chances are we're going to bring in Jailbreak next turn. It's 
excuse me if my coffee is making too much uh, noise at any point. Jailbreak seems like what we want here. So is that or is that switchback? Yeah, that's switchback. That's more of a problem. So we need to bring someone in. Hang on. Oh, they're still moving. Okay. They've got a decent shot there on. Yep. Yeah. And then that is extra accuracy for two turns. I think we're in a lot of trouble. I don't know how we're going to deal with this. So we're going to stow away. So this gives us four, five, six, seven. So we can do a couple of things here. We can't quite get into melee here. We definitely can't get in up there. So I think we are going to be using uh, Stim Burst here. Again, we can't quite get in range up there. So I'm going to start by moving quite a long way. Mm. In fact, let's move here. Because this means that there's a really low chance of them getting line of sight on what we need. Still range attack at 50. I swear that should be 150. Then if we get to here, I believe that keeps us out of range. We can bring in Jailbreak on the other side. And then we've got enough left to Shield of Hope ourselves, Sword of Justice, and melee attack as well. And we've, uh, yeah, we look like we've actually pinned their commander pretty well. So they can get a lot of damage off on us, especially on things like Jailbreak, but... In fact, they could probably kill Jailbreak from up here. Was there another option that was better than Jailbreak? Uh, does Jailbreak have armor? No. So this could be... If this then goes slow... I still think that switch up needs to be before you move. Yeah, so then any decent attack from this is going to kill Jailbreak. It's okay. okay, that's it's good okay. news. It could potentially be here as well. But they only deal one, so this is going to have to be an extra... Hand where you can see, it. see, this is where we really want a big melee swing or something like that. Oh no, the crit! That could not possibly have gone the worst time for crit. We've completely just lost a unit. Okay, this might be a, a round where we get to two two battles, because... I don't know how we're going to come out of it from here. The only thing I will say is that we can still just keep on plodding along here. Oh, that mist is not good. Um, just, I think all we can really do is just keep trying to move block. So, melee here. I think we actually Shield of Hope there now. Protection is prudent. I don't need to move. We've got nothing else to spend our Cinder on. I guess we can move over here slightly to create harder angles for them to hit our uh, Snarling. I keep pressing the wrong button. Again, we're just going to have to rush it here. I don't think we've got any better options, so I'm probably going to be looking at bringing in Tipu. Actually, no, Drum Dancer. Maybe I should have done that last turn, because then that could give us you know, a lot more damage here. We've tried to make this a little bit difficult. So Ready they're absolutely going to destroy us in terms of you know, dealing damage. I'm kind of hoping they just go for the... Oh my goodness, no, they're going to... They're pulling us apart. I don't know what we can do here. Again, was there? So that could move... I mean, next time we can stim so we can get a big swing in here. It's just that I don't think we've actually got enough damage to do what we need to. And if this dies, miss one. Okay, yep, the first one just killed it. Okay. Yeah, we, we've lost this, I think. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run up here, I'm going to spin, and I'm going to see what we can do from there. And see if anything comes of this. They obviously know that that's a possibility. Crank, is Crankbait going to pull us? Okay, Crankbait's stuck. 
So we'll give ourselves the speed. Pop over here. Uh, that was not who I meant to melee. That was meant to just be a random attack. That's very bad news as well. So, move here. 93% chance that I have to do. It missed, of course it misses. Okay, we're in a lot of trouble here. Uh, again, I'm just going to try move blocking using units. Use our stowaway, see if we get any cheap. This hasn't worked out well. This has gone quite badly, but again, we're just going to try and rush down there, Captain. I'll make him proud. I mm. gotcha. Astra flies. And that was Simba, yeah, so they're just restoring health. I mean, I'm bringing in a unit every turn where I can, but they've got so many that it's just killing them. So I think I need to keep using my Cinder Spin thing around here and basically try and get. Oh, please miss. Whatever you're hitting, please. Yeah, do that. Okay, that didn't miss. Switchback is going to be a major issue. Gets to attack twice, so it's probably going to kill it. I think this is the right choice for the. Oh my god, the crit. And that does three damage. Oh, did they not? They didn't give it rapid fire. Ah, uh, they didn't give it rapid fire. Okay. I don't know what even just happened there. Did they? Oh, that missed as well. Okay, and then. Does this units lose accuracy, isn't it? So they can just put it here and lose everyone some accuracy, which is not good either. Again, I think we're on the uh, rush it down plan. Uh, Quetzali is basically just going to be useful for move blocking, so I don't know if any of that's particularly useful. So, actions cannot be undone. I think the plan is move here, get a range attack over there. Hey, watch it! Uh, we're going to move here. Prepare to face your face. Use our spin. Use our melee attack. Oh, come on, let's just use X instead. Oh, we got a crit. So this is it. If we hit this, we we win. Wow. Okay. I feel like they made a few mistakes there. We didn't like our units should have been dead, and their commander should have been just running away. That was great for us. Okay, that went well. Excellent. So, without any further ado, given that, that was quite a quick game, we are going to jump straight back into another one with the same list and see what happens. So, there isn't anything on here that's worrying me so far. I like the look of almost everything. So, let's give it a shot and see how we do. But yeah, that was a really good game. We basically, we felt like we were on the sort of on the back end of that. We were we were the ones being beaten down. But that's so like I said in the previous video, switching gear to sort of figuring out a way to win the game from where you are was really important there. And that's exactly what we did. So we figured out that, you know, we couldn't really beat them in a board position. Okay, so stim burst and deploy it de deploy a unit for free, but it takes two damage. Medical recall and vortex. I like vortex a, a lot now, but I think Let's try Plink and Invulnerable. So, we're going first, they are over there. This is nice and easy for us, we're going to give them no easy lines. We're going to move to here, and we're going to Plink them. So we don't have any early drops at all. So we're actually just almost out of early drops completely. So this is going to be a really awkward uh, start. It looks like they've got Plink as well, which is never good. Because... Essentially, they're going to be doing the same as us each time. Are you joking? I can't fit through this. They need to sort out these these gaps because not being able to fit through there is basically just wasted my entire first turn. So I've not got anything to play out. I'm only able to say well, I can save all three of mine until next turn anyway. So I'm just going to click again and end the turn. This is all we're doing. Uh, the nano shield is not going to be something I'm going to use until it's necessary, so they're probably going to play something here. We're going to have six next turn. 
So I think what I really want to be doing is playing Tipu. And then, or maybe even Quetzali and just getting straight in there. Because if we play Quetzali now, we can actually play it here and just run straight into. Uh, is it Florian, uh, Florian Lancer? Yeah. I think we do that. Let's have some fun with this. Where's his moving up to? He's there, so we need to make sure that's included. So let's go here. I'll get them moving, Captain. So we go one movement. Two I go movement. with purpose. Wait, how come I did not get there? What's blocking me here? Three movement. Four movement. Get the attack in. Justice we got a crit as well. So we're going to plink over here this time. Ways to fight. And then we're. Give pause. I think we just stay that stay right in range here. But we could actually just move back. But I think this is where we want to be right now. So we're going to have four next turn. Do we have a four drop here? We do. So we are going to shield of hope ourselves. Defensive field activated. Okay. I mean, that crit was really important. That means we're probably dealing with this next turn if we need to. Which obviously we're going to want to. That's going to be their boost morale, so they're probably bringing something else down. But again, they're limited to what range they can bring it down in. That's their flick. That's fine. The question is, can we find a location here where we can get both of them in the AoE if they don't move? I feel like they're probably going to attack you one way or the other. Because they can't use Florian Lancer's bombardment, and if they don't use that at all, they've wasted an entire unit and. F oh, it's only one Cinder. Is Florian 3 normal? Either way. So they have got another unit to deploy. It is. Tyro Arsenal gives something rapid fire. Okay, so that's something we are going to want to deal with. But let's just. melee here first. And then plink it away. With righteous intent. We can move this over to here, and then we're going to move a couple of movement phases over here. We're sort of justice of this, or do we just bring out several safeguard? I think we bring out the safeguard and try and again block the unit in, and then I actually think I'm going to give her give her invulnerable for the turn. So, you know, make them come over here. They can't get away from my character very easily here at all. They can only rapid fire onto themselves, so it's going to be a bit of damage onto my captain. But, again, this is going to make Astra very low utility this turn. Not Astra, I mean... But, I will say, they could just do the same damage, I suppose, but this means that this isn't likely to escape. They can move out and around. Oh, we have ended the turn. Apologies. So Quetzali's got a lot of potential here, because wherever they place something around here, we can potentially move this into range. That's going to be a boost morale. That's something that I wasn't doing enough when I played uh, Astra, and someone pointed that out to me, and they were right to do so. If they deploy here, that's very interesting. Oh, Orbital. Okay. That's their other ability. That works. Yeah, this is fine. And then Plink. So what I'm going to look at doing now, unless they play another unit, which I imagine they must do. Depending on what unit they play, I might even... Cease your pestering. I mean, sure. We've, this is almost guaranteed death next turn. Uh, who's that? Crosshair. So we need to make sure our targets move. Is this really not even in melee range? In your power. Okay, so we move this over here. Feel that Get our first attack in. Yes. Hopefully crit. We did not crit. Watch it. So we'll melee stuff. here. <laughs> then we're gonna move over here. Actions cannot be undone. I guess over here. And we'll hide we'll hide out over here. We're gonna plink that. Mines will battle. And then we will bring... Let's bring Tipu into play down here. 
Actually, yeah, go here because it's harder for them to hit. And we've got options to move this as well, so. Uh, we can use Shield of Hope if we need to. Bring protection. Or Shield Barrier. Um, Be brave. Let's just Shield Barrier. It's slightly better. We don't need everything next turn. So I think this is where their Plinks have become more useful than ours. We've got one more unit out, but neither of us have got any in hand. So we're going to be starting to do that next turn. We've lost a bit more health than they have, but we've got more mobility. This mask really draws the eye. And the thing is, with everyone moving, Crosshair's not as good. So Crosshair's still very good, to clarify, but not as good. So, can we fit... Here, can we just make a good move here? Crosshair's going up there, that's probably meaning they're going after Tipu. Uh, Tipu's what we're, we're playing for here. We want Tipu to start you know, charging up and getting more damage. So they've reinforced. Yes, yeah, reduce its cost. Which is great in when you're really empty handed, because whatever you draw, you just pay one, reduce it by two. It's essentially just one free mana. This looks like a blink. Yep. Toys. If they don't move here, that's a bit strange. Because then we can potentially just run Over there. in that direction. Uh, here? Yeah. Here. Yeah, they're just running away, though. Reach for the sun. So if we move over here, we get this to about here, I reckon. I'm like water. Whoosh. Okay, this can move again. Hmm, a bit slippery. Might as well get a hit. I forget nothing. Exterior can come over here and. Oh, I can't get in range again. Okay. Can we pull Watch that out somehow? The issue with that is neither can Tipu unless Tipu can fit in this gap. Oh, it's the wrong circle. I was looking at the wrong circle. Okay, well there's a chance if I move to like here. The face your Sword of Justice doesn't hit either. So I think here we're probably just shield of hoping here and then maybe plinking something so Always shield of oh no we can reinforce we should, we should have done this first okay Antios Gauntlet is good uh, they have a flyer so what we want to do is bring it probably over here still the and then we'll just is in my hand. plink there you With there we go I don't think that I don't know if that's right but we're making our way towards that unit. So if we need to, this thing is going to need to be you know, making some headway up here to, to give us a bit more utility. Yeah, so we've got the zero damage and they're going to move away. Again though, with this being able to move up, we can potentially just make multiple movements in their direction. I'm not sure how we sit here. This is the thing, yep. And then probably a ranged attack. Here, we need to make sure everything's moving so Crosshair doesn't just ruin us. This is probably a low chance hit. Uh, okay, they're still moving away. This is where we need our snailing. Okay, so they're going over here, so we might be able to back them into a corner. Who is this? Oh, Amplifier Bite, please don't hit. Okay, thank god. Another miss. Oh, that was three. Wow, we're getting hurt. This is the issue with the uh, the melee ones, the melee lists. We do need them to hurry up a bit because we do need to get this game sorted. So we're going to recruit. We've got jailbreak. Excellent. Okay, so I think we're going for the the damage approach. Then we're going to be meleeing here. Crit is nice. So. You control your impact. If we move this up to here, Say thanks and get Tipu chances. to. That still counts as being in, I believe. Yeah, Tipu can move again. Get another melee hit off here. Come on, melee. There we go. Be brave. Move to here. Move to here and get our, move our hit in. We can also Sword of Justice, and I believe that should be it. Yes, there we go. So we were able to just 
burst them down, get enough damage done, and you know use that extra mobility. The um, Quetzali was really, really good there again. I think that's a cornerstone of any melee focus list, because functionally, in my mind, that does the same thing as Snarling, is that it gives you the mobility you need to get to that enemy unit. And I think that's a really you know, interesting, like interesting approach, because moving something that many times does make up for the fact that you're getting shot on the way over there, because you get there and you do deal extra damage. So we've had a really good couple of games. We managed to fit two in for the first time yet, so I'm really happy with that. We haven't done that outside of a cargo run yet. Uh, I'm happy again with how the list works. We've had a couple of games with each of our lists. So oh, there we go. We've got our blanks. So this is we're now getting currency a bit more often, which we weren't doing before. So maybe that's showing a sign they are testing out the actual in-game currency. I still don't know why this uh, joint Discord doesn't work, but I'm not going to get rid of it just in case it gets rid of it when we get the real client and we want free things. So, we've tried our three lists, we've had a reasonable success with each of them, I've been really happy with how they've gone. So, now the big thing is what to try next. So we've got all of these units here, and what I want to know is what sort of things do you guys want to try, do you want to see coming up in future videos? So there's going to be a lot of things we haven't used, so we could do things like a massive CV, uh, CV? I was going to say CP, as if focus around Warhammer 40k, but massive Cinder focus list of focus around like things like Ursic Scatterbind, just flooding the board with them. Do we want to see more AOE based ones? Do we want to try the immobile units and try and get like a you know, as just sort of a bit of board control to work the angles, that sort of thing? Do we want just something fleeting like Maximus sort of hiding around there? Do we want to try and use like a Cinder based spend your Cinder one with Blindsider Esley? I think that would be really good for like a hyper aggro list because Esli, I believe, is only two and could potentially attack for four on turn two and fast. So, you know, real rushdown kind of unit there. I'm really ex you know, interested to see where this goes. I think there's a lot of fun. There's a lot of things that we're missing out on yet. Like, we haven't used things like there you go, Deadeye very effectively yet. There is also one of the, uh, the sort of the Mayan influence people. That one's not one we've used yet, just stun someone for a turn, but who's the one I'm looking for? Fate to Tantan? Yes, choose a unit. If friendly, its next attack hits. If enemy, its next attack misses. Things like these, like, where do you see us using these? So, any ideas, let us know. I've really enjoyed it, and please feel free to hit the like, subscribe, comment, anything that you want to do. I'd love to hear from you. It really does, you know, give me that bit of a boost. Other than that, have a good day.